You guys are gonna wanna be hydrated for this one because we got some spoiled kids and it's probably gonna annoy you. So cheers. Let's get hydrated or drunk. I'll let you pick. My brother had a mental breakdown because of a phone. So my little brother always uses my mother's phone and when it dies, he bangs it on a table and starts crying and my mother gets angry. Actually, everyone gets angry. I would also get angry. Charge the phone. It's nothing to get angry about. It's nothing to cry over and it's definitely not something to bang my phone against the table. Well, why do you let him use your phone then? Take it away. With that behavior, nah. Sibling claims I'm a spoiled person because I saved up enough money to build my own PC and meanwhile, she gets a two grand laptop and multiple other gifts from my parents. So I've been saving up for about a year and a half for a decently mid to high end PC, which I've been doing chores, saving money from gifts and going on jobs with my father who is a mechanic. I was finally able to buy all the parts for my PC and I was talking to my mom about it and my sister overheard it and claimed that I was a spoiled who and that I don't deserve it, which I pointed out that my sister had received a pretty expensive laptop for her birthday and had even received a flute and get ready for this a hedgehog and other th wait a real hedgehog like as a pet and other things and meanwhile i was stuck with working for things i wanted i know this is all very mild but i just thought it kind of fits this subreddit it does you're not the spoiled one it seems but your sibling however seems to belong in this subreddit <laughs> a flute an expensive laptop a hedgehog y'all that's gotta be an exotic animal like you can't just go into any store and buy a hedgehog. Like they gotta put in money to get a hedgehog. If we're talking about a real hedgehog here, like I'm so confused. Sounds like you got a pretty spoiled sibling there. And good for you for working and saving and getting your dream computer. Little bro is a poo head. We're off to a strong start here, everybody. So basically he copies everything I do. He follows me and hides my effing mouse and keyboard USB under my laptop, which broke my $200 keyboard. And whenever it's a sibling's birthday, if he doesn't blow the cake out, like the candles, I'm assuming, he starts a full on 10 hour tantrum and he is spoiled too. So when I punch him in the face, softly a soft punch in the face he complained and complained and then he hit me in the eye and the skin next to my eyelid started bleeding what is happening i also hide his usbs where he can't reach okay there is a lot to unpack here this sounds so much like just a regular sibling vibe um however this whole birthday cake thing really pisses me off like he feels entitled that he gets to blow out all the candles even though it's not his birthday that's where i have a problem <laughs> everything else typical siblings <laughs> yeah my sister chased me around the house with a hammer one time like no joke i feel like people who have siblings will be like ah yes the good old days just want to share this well luckily you're at a place where we love where people share my little brother is a brat and whines whenever he doesn't get something he wants. He is six years old, but acts like he's three. But there have been times when he got hit by reality. Hard one time is when he was just whining when I was in the same room as him and my mom. <sighs> you guys, for future, grammar is a great thing and it really helps someone who's reading. There have been times when he got hit by reality. Hard one time is when he was just whining when I was in the same room as him. And my mom just told him to shut his mouth. Side note, every time something doesn't go his way, he slams his room door after he runs upstairs. That's the side note. And another time is when he made a mess on the couch and was refusing to clean it up and was yelling at me to stop talking to him, which I was, and my brother came down and yelled at him. It was great to watch him get what he deserves, but even though he is like that, I still love him as he's my little brother and we do get along. Okay, well, it feels like this is like a diary entry and you're just kind of like getting it off your chest. Again, very typical sibling behavior. However, making a mess on the couch and not cleaning it up would never fly with my parents or running up the stairs and slamming my door. <laughs> never fly. Am I spoiled slash entitled? They are asking. Usually if you have to ask that, there's a pretty decent reason as to why you're asking. Whenever I do chores, I never get any type of money, no matter how bad I beg. 
even for a dollar. My parents rather just let me ask for something and I get it. My mother says I'm spoiled. Okay, I really don't wanna end up like those stupid 15 year olds on TikTok or be spoiled. I'm not old enough for a job. I really wanna work for money to get cool stuff. Am I spoiled? Okay, you are spoiled because let me ask for something and I get it, which means you just have to ask for something and you're always given what you ask for. So that could be a very spoiled trait. Doing chores but not getting money is actually not a spoiled thing because um, it's great that you're doing chores around the house and not getting a reward for it. I also like that you're saying you don't want to end up being spoiled and that you want a job and you work and to work hard for your money to get cool stuff. So I think there's hope. I cannot imagine being like, <laughs> I'm doing chores and I want money but my parents would rather me just ask because they just give me whatever I want. My brother is obviously the favorite child. He has made, oh, multiple racist jokes and my mom doesn't even care. One time we were just walking down the street and my little sister was with us and she's black. We saw another black girl, completely random girl, and he goes, hey look, blank, it's your sister. And more recently, we were playing shoots and ladders and just pointed out that there was a black boy character, but no black girl. And he goes, do you think the other kids make him play by himself at recess? And somehow that was my fault. I got in trouble for not properly explaining to him why that was wrong, but he didn't get in trouble at all. If that's not obvious favoritism, I don't know what is. I'm just very confused by this. You got in trouble for not properly explaining. Well, maybe we can, like maybe the parent can step in and properly explain. Apparently their sibling makes a lot of inappropriate comments but never gets in trouble, but you made that comment and got in trouble. So you're like, I'm not the favorite. Maybe we need some more open conversations. I think that would help everyone, like not even being sarcastic. Kids at my elementary school gets expelled for a good cause. There was a kid in my elementary school. I was in fourth grade, about nine or 10 at the time. And there was this one kid in my school who everyone hated for a good reason. He was a biatch. Tip <laughs> what? Typical fourth grade biatch? What? Is that a typical thing? You're in grade four. Stole supplies, yelled at people, that type of stuff. Okay, so he was just annoying. But one day he did something that teachers considered so horrible, he suspended, they suspended him for it. He escaped class. However, he did this again and again and again until the teacher snapped and expelled him. I'm 21 now and the last I heard from him is that he was sent to juvie. Maybe he was spoiled in the sense that he kept getting away with it, but I feel like the ultimate karma came for him in the end. Little bro. Okay, this is a lot of swearing, okay, for just the title. Little bro complains about his effing toys. So my little bro is spoiled as hell and he always wants new toys. The problem is that he has a hundred of toy cars and dinosaurs and toys about the universe and stuff. Yet he still asks for more to top it off. He can't wait five minutes after the package is ordered because my parents just effing go along with it, which is fine if he didn't have so much darn toys in the first place. He just complains for more and can't take no for an answer. While this is an example of someone really pushing their limits, it's an example of a brat who was raised with the mentality that he can complain to get whatever he wants and it pisses me off. You are absolutely right. He's being raised that way because all he has to do is complain and then he gets rewarded with what he wants. My seven-year-old brother is so darn spoiled. So one time my brother wanted a new iPod, iPad, and wanted an iPad Pro. We gave him an iPad Air, the newest one, and he got mad and cried and said we sucked. <gasps> and my dad tried to decline the order, and so he did. We got him a new, so he canceled the order of the iPad Air. So we got him a new iPad Pro, but it was silver instead of space gray. He got so mad that he sent off another tantrum about it and told him it's just a color. He was speechless and did it again. Another tantrum and he had to deal with it and didn't play it for like a month. A waste of money. Sorry if I had bad grammar. Wow. I still don't own an iPad. I'm 30. Never had an iPad in my whole life. I want one. I could buy one. Um, but I'm cheap. Anyways, imagine not playing an iPad because it was silver and not space gray. <laughs> 
spoiled, entitled cousin cries over an Oreo and makes a big tantrum. <laughs> I feel like we got the full story just from that. Quick context, I'm from India and the entitled cousin is Seven Female, who is my mom's cousin's brother's da- <laughs> We will call the entitled cousin Sonia, the innocent brother, Shatu. We really gotta be given everybody fake names here. The dad, Pintu, fake name. No, Sonia the has grandparents, been spoiled since GP. childhood. And every and time I think Shatu over her sister's she always behaves. I am a 14 year old male and recently we went to her house. Basically, me and Shatu were watching TV in the living room, just chilling and eating Oreos. So was Sonia. But then I went to the washroom and came back and ate an Oreo from a packet, which I thought was mine, but was hers. Then she started crying and screaming. And I tried to make her quiet by giving her an Oreo from my packet, but she won't accept it and started crying more loudly. Pintu and my mom came and started scolding me and screaming at me for what I did. My mom took my entire pack of Oreos and gave it to her, but that effing biatch, she still didn't stop screaming and crying. And that went on for like three hours. At the end, she got Shatu and my share of Oreos pizza while we were stuck eating normal homemade veggies and rice, which was not cooked properly because their maid sucks at cooking food. Made! And that's what made her calm. Crying over Oreos, we got a maid. There's, mm -hmm. I think I need to move on from the story, honestly, because that was a lot. This is still legendary to me to this day. A legend has entered the chat, everybody. As a person who loves animals, I've had a few pets. Bugs, rodents, fish, and soon a dog. I need more clarification on the bugs and rodents. I brought in one of my hamsters to a show and tell day to school. I think I named him Cookie, because he was cookie colored. <laughs> and there was some spoiled little poo aged like seven to eight, let's call him Bob. And so I got up and went to show my hamster and then people say, can I hold him? So I bring him around the class and everyone was gentle, except for Bob. So I get to him and I can't even my sentence. What? So I get to him and I can't even get my sentence out. Would you like to hold a bit? And he grabs him like a kid grabbing a Capri Sun from his mom. And so because Cookie is a smaller hamster, he gets hurt <gasps> and freaking bites him and he starts crying. And so he goes to medical, but I get to stay. Man, I'll miss you, little Cookie. Whoa, did he kill Cookie? Wait, when you say hamster gets hurt, do you mean that he killed Cookie? No. What do you mean? I need more clarification. Did he or did he not murder Cookie? <laughs> On that note, I'm gonna get out of here. I really want cookies now. Stay classy out there, you guys. Stay sassy, eat some cookies if you want. Hydrate, drink your water, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.